VivaCore specializes in developing, acquiring, and operating proprietary and patented clean energy solutions and environmental technologies. And with me is the CEO, Matt Nicosia, to explain exactly what you're doing. So explain VivaCore. How, how, what does the company do? Well, thanks for having me first off. Mm -hmm. So VivaCore, as a socially responsible acquirer and developer of technologies, mainly on the clean side, our objective is how do we extract natural resources in a clean manner while preserving the life and the integrity of the earth okay. through proprietary technology. Through your own technology. Yes. So explain a, a situation where you would operate. Would there be like an oil spill? Absolutely. And then you would come in and do what? Absolutely. So the main technology is we call it our remediation processing center technology or RPC for and short. That's your patented technology. Correct, okay. patented technology. And we build machines and with these machines we deploy them on areas where their oil has been spilt into dirt or soil. Okay. For example, you asked the situation. Uh, we're actually in Kuwait working with the Kuwaiti government cleaning up the Iraq invasion of Kuwait where there was spilt over 600, 800 mm -hmm what rigs that spilt and almost that was, a billion barrels. You're talking about the 1991 invasion? 30 plus years yeah, ago, yes. Okay. Still, there's 27 million cubic meters hmm. of material and piles to be cleaned. We come in and we separate the oil from the soil okay. and make both usable. Mm. In most situations, we want to make sure, we want to make sure both are usable. Okay, uh, this is very valuable because you're saving that crude oil um, so it can be refined and used for what you know all different kinds of uses, but then also the soil is saved as well. Yes, so. actually, Utah is similar to that because we deal with Mother Nature's mess. Mm. There's these topical surface oil sands, and Utah's got who, who, who you talk to anywhere from 20 to 30 billion barrels of surface oil sand material. Mm. You can't do anything with the land, but we come in, we separate the oil from the soil make the soil usable and sellable and the oil. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't sell oil in Utah, we sell asphalt cement. Okay. It's an asphalt product for roads, okay. which is in huge need. Yeah, now do you deal with oil spills in water or just soil? We do have other technologies that do work with water as well. Our objective at VivaCore is how do we affect the land, the water and the air. So we will focus around technologies and acquisitions that meet all three of those goals. Mm -hmm. So you're expanding in Utah? Yes, mm -hmm. so in Utah, we're the first company to have a continuous feed, 24-hour 24 24 a day processing system that can take these oil sand materials, extract the soil from the oil, and make an asphalt product. In fact, we announced a couple months ago our offtake agreement is basically a 10-year plus two 10-year extensions for a group in the Southwest that loves this material because there's a huge need for it. Now, we make the soil usable as an asphalt product, and we make the, so the oil usable as an asphalt product, and the soil is sold off as, whether it be an aggregate product for roads, could be for frac sand, okay. could also be for silica as well. Yeah, so that is where the environmental soundness comes in, is you're recycling, basically, saving a resource and recycling. Yes, mm -hmm. and nothing's more prudent like what we do in Houston. We want to take a waste product mm -hmm. that would normally be thrown away to landfill we want to have zero impact on landfill and make that product and that soil usable. Mm -hmm. So what are some growth plans or what, what are you looking for in the future for the company? Well, we see that this tank bottom sludge and this large expansion into taking soil out of oil is much larger than we anticipated. Mm. Think of all the brownfield projects that are oil-based brownfield projects just in the U.S. alone. There's thousands of them. And what, what do you mean brownfield? Uh, what does that mean exactly? Brownfield is when oil's been spilt into the dirt mm. and the EPA classifies it as a Superfund site or a can't use site. Mm. Well, we can come in, take the oil out of the soil, make that soil reclaimed, and now you have usable land again mm -hmm. where it's not contaminating the air, the water, or the land. Mm -hmm. So the implications of that are ginormous yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from a standpoint of how large expansion is. And just the tank bottom sludge alone, tank bottom sludge is north of 9 billion barrels is expected trapped in tank bottom sludge around the world. Mm -hmm. That's significant amount of material that's sitting in waste that can be reclaimed. Now are you the only company that does this kind of work? Currently we're the only company that can extract both the soil and the oil make both usable due to the technology. Okay. Others will eat up the oil through bioremediation, so there's just some soil left over, and others will put the material through a huge incinerator and burn it all off. Okay. 
but we make both soil and oil usable. And in all the f current UN projects we're seeing, that is a requirement. Mm. They, want to, they, they don't want to lose the, lose the soil. Interesting. So uh, that kind of fits into the whole, um, their, their points, their ESG points ESG. that the UN has uh, decided to implement a few years ago. We call those, the, well, they're called the Sustainable Development Goals. Sustainable Development Goals. Actually, yeah. goal number 16 is how do you improve life on land, yeah. which is what we do. Okay. How do we improve that? Now, talk to me about, so you went public uh, here at the NASDAQ in February. Talk to me about that process and how was it becoming a publicly traded company? Well, it was a very fun process. Uh, we call it, uh, it, we call it an excruciating fun process. <laughs> That's good. I'm sure I, I, I can see that because it is a lot of detail, a lot of paperwork that you got to uh, fill out. We, we, that wasn't an issue with ours. Uh, the company was previously traded before in the OTC. Oh. So we upgraded that, get it proper so it can be a NASDAQ listed entity. Mm -hmm. Waited for time frames to come in place, built the proper balance sheet that would require be uh, necessary for a NASDAQ listed company. And then of course, coming out the day after Putin goes into uh, Ukraine, markets in general weren't too good, but we've really enjoyed our process with NASDAQ. We've been very impressed with NASDAQ and we see a lot of future because this technology and the technologies we're going to continue to acquire fit within what we believe is the future of NASDAQ. Yeah, well, and there's certainly a big push for these kind of sustainable solutions to things. Um, that seems like a, a macro trend that's not going away anytime soon. It's not. In mm -hmm. fact, we think it's going to be essential. Yeah. If you look at how we can, water's an issue, even preserved land's going to be an issue, the mm -hmm. air, all of those are three issues that are going to not, go, they're going to, they're going to stay with us, mm -hmm. they're not going away, and they're going to last for a very long time. Okay, now finally, so we've, energy has been the best performing sector of the stock market this year. Have you benefited from that? Do you, uh, do you follow along with the Exxon Mobiles of the world and things like that? Here's a great thing. Because we're new, people are still trying to figure out this whole remediation cleanup. We benefit from high oil prices. We are an energy company, but it's more of a recycled energy or, or a reclaimed energy company. So yes, we will benefit heavily. In fact, uh, we've, we announced an acquisition, an acquisition we were in the process of doing that gives us access to infrastructure, a significant acquisition, uh, transformative in our, in our nature because it adds significant infrastructure to what we're doing. You add that to our existing technologies and we will still clean up the environment, but our end product is a beneficiary, is a direct result of the uh, called energy market. Tell me about the acquisition. Who is that and how does that help? Well, we're acquiring two facilities, one in Silver Fuels, uh, it's called in Delhi, Louisiana, the other in Colorado City, uh, Texas, up north of Midland, and both of those are collection centers. Uh, they're where there's access to infrastructure and to pipelines. There's an extreme amount of waste material around those areas, so it gives us access to those. Uh, last year, their audit financials were over 33 million in revenue. That was last year. Uh, we'll see how this year turns out. It should be pretty exciting. Add that to what we're doing and it gives us access to infrastructure where we can put our remediation processing centers right next to it mm -hmm. and collect all that waste from that area and have a, have a phenomenal opportunity, not just to clean up, but great profits uh, from, from, recycled, from recycled oil. Very interesting business model. Thank you so much, Matt, for coming in. Thank you very much. Thanks.